called the executive producers over to my house and I told them that I wanted to come out. It became bigger than any of us ever anticipated. I get a telephone call. And my agent sends me this script. And the character breakdown for the character of Taylor Mason said non-binary. Hello, I'm Taylor. My pronouns are they, theirs, and them. It's hard to talk about without stressing how invisible gay people were. The earliest representations were always people to be mocked. People couldn't be just who they were. The truth is there was no LGBT presence on TV that I can remember. In 1971, we wanted to show people as they really are. In all that time, did I ever mention a woman? <laughs> It's the first time ever on an American sitcom that a character came out and said he was gay. That was, to me, the breakthrough. We were fighting for our lives. I will probably die before I turn 30 years of age. That's how much homophobia there is in the community. This was the coming out moment for the movement on national television. This was the time they first saw us. My dad threw me out of the house. The episode airs, and my phone rings. And it's my dad. One of the great things about television is it helps us to make sense of who we are and where we're going. No, Something about being on television makes people see you as part of our culture. Women who looked like me could be the centers of their own universe. When you see images that are reflective of your own life, it's a reminder to you that your life matters. I didn't realize that I was the revolution that I was waiting for. I shot it out like a bird said free.